Kanye is on here. Yeezy. It's the time to have this conversation. So you want to talk about his album? You, want, you don't got him on the... You, got, no, you, you yeah, didn't put it no, on the reviews. No, my dog went ahead and moved it up. No, it's not on that level? To no, be talked about we, as a review? We're going to get to it early. <laughs> okay, all right. I, you know what? I, I agree. Uh, do this. Kanye West has finally dropped his album, uh, Jesus is King, a gospel album. Yes, it is. Uh, I think this is like his ninth album or eighth album or something like that. He's up there. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I know last episode we talked about, do we even care about Kanye? Yeah, we do. Does the culture even care about Kanye? And I, I'm just, 11th if you include collaboration. Okay, 11th album. I'm going to go true. ahead and say this. I'm going to be real. forgot about those. I feel like Kanye has lost the culture. Yeah. But I has. don't feel like this album is as bad as people are saying. It's not as bad as people are saying. Yeah. I didn't know they were saying it was bad. Oh, no. They're they're going in. Let me, let me put it this yeah. way. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's just not good. It's just not... Well, okay. we, it's not. We there was higher expectations. That's what it was. I mean, it's about what I thought it was going to be. I'm just like, man, what is this? Like, <laughs> shout out to the trends in the Facebook group that was like, we need. <laughs> when the album came out, it was like we. Somebody said we need uh, an emergency podcast now. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I was like, chill. We will we'll, have. We gonna podcast. get there. We gonna get there, fam. I wanted to it. sit with the album a little bit. I wanted to like, you know, I heard it a few times because I mean, it ain't long, so. It's definitely a quick run, run through. So I got to hear. It but here, okay, here's my issue with the, with it, right? Because I know that there's people that hate Kanye West right now, deservedly. Is that a word? Mm-hmm. Deservedly. Deservingly. Right. Deservingly. I don't know. All right. So <laughs> I don't know. Just fuck it. Uh, I know there's people that that hate him right now because of one, the Trump MAGA shit. Yeah. And then two, the slavery was a choice. Yeah. Uh, I think those were the the last straws for a lot of people. Yeah, it was. Uh, and some people just aren't going to... This album could be amazing, and it wouldn't be enough to bring them back. They're not getting back on point. board. Yeah. Yeah, they're just like, we're done. So there's that. That's what I mean by I feel like I think he's lost the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I listened to it, okay? Um, and I, like I said, I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that bad either. It's it, what I expected from him telling us. I didn't think it was going to be like his other albums because he already told me it wasn't going to be. Yeah. But I'm just I'm listening to him like, this just isn't what I want to hear from you. Mm. This is so why I'm upset with your project. Is this, it because it's gospel? This is saved Kanye. No, I, I, he just, sounds centered. He does. He honestly feels, he seems like I, he's I, got. I, he, I just he, don't want it He actually him. said, he's like, I'm actually in one of the. One of the songs he says that he's sane after you know finding God. He's now sane. He sounds sane. Yeah, you don't think he does? He doesn't sound Man, off I, the wall. Like I, he I was. think that he rarely sounds sane. Like the thing here's here's my issue with this. I just have a hard time when I look at the things he's saying, how he's acting, how he's doing, how quick this all happened. Right. I was like, I just don't know if I believe how genuine you're being right now. Like, okay. That's, I, a, that's good a good point. Good, I just is, don't is. know that that's I, a super I like good that. point because like that. that's something that I've thought about too. I'm like, mm, I kind of feel like if you drop another album, you're going to be off on that's back That's what I'm saying. Like, is, there gonna, is there a level that of it? authenticity yeah. here or in nine months, am I going to get, you know, another album? <laughs> that's different. That's different. Yeah. Well, he's always come out with different albums. Pretty much every album's kind of different. Yeah, but it, it's a little but different when you're talking about gospel genres, and you go religion. Genres, yeah, you go genre uh, hopping because now he's over here in the gospel genre. Yeah, but let's be honest. Snoop put out a gospel. Snoop did it too. Album. He Snoop did, did, but I felt like his felt more genuine to me. Why? Because he was like, it just just the he way was it like, I, did he did he say, I, bitches and hoes twerk for Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> that sounds well, that would be a genuine Snoop. That would. It just felt because if you're trying like to say he was smoking smoke smoke right one now. with Jesus, he'd say that. If he said shit like that, then I would feel like that's genuine. I'm, I'm when I say that, like I feel like when he put his out, he's like, hey, this is you know this is how I'm feeling right now. This is the project I want to put out, and not to say and again, I would say to, what's the difference between him and Kanye? Not to insult. I will make this uh, this is a little disclaimer here. Not trying to insult anybody's religious beliefs or anything. Right. Yeah. But I just feel like Ye is kind of going over the top right now. And it makes, I feel like something he's saying kind of hard for people to stomach. And I also thought it was interesting what Kim K has said when she's like, okay, just because 
you're going on this journey right now <laughs> doesn't mean that that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> so she's, and that, that was, for anyone who doesn't know, so that she was She separated from, herself from him. Yeah, they were having a little back and forth because he was like, oh, you know, you're dressing too sexy, blah, blah, blah. She's like, okay. She's like, I have a business to run, motherfucker. And for, this I mean, is we're what sells be honest, this. This sells <laughs> They have a shit. brand built on that. Yeah. Right. No, no shit. Like, built yeah. on that specific. Yeah. It's literally built on, like, her body. A, literally, yeah. like, sex. Yeah. yeah. Sex tapes. And then they they have, <laughs> I was reading the stuff that he was saying, You're like, right, oh, yeah. I don't want people working on this to be having premarital sex and. I'm not letting. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna let North so wear that, makeup. So anymore. is he not being genuine? So kind of, how is okay. he not being genuine? Though? So maybe, listen, maybe he has so changed. I'm not making no more of that devil music. I'm like, dog, come on. What if man. he has changed? What, <laughs> hey, on, what if he? Had, what if he has changed? What if he found God? Because people do do that. They, they find do. Jesus and then they, 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 they and I don't change. Want to take that from he him. did start off that way. Yeah. Right. Jesus and so maybe he just because okay when people like I'm you know people people are brought up in a religion yeah like brought up in it like heavy. Yeah, right, yeah. and then they leave it. Sometimes they come back to it. Maybe right. they feel like you know they were suggest- lost at one point because of separating from. It. I don't know if that's what's going on with Kanye, but I'm just saying that's you know that I is mean, a possibility. He he, was, a lot of people were saying he lost it. You know, he was going crazy. He was saying off the wall shit, just doing crazy shit. Maybe it took that to find himself again. You know, maybe that's what he was doing. You know, you're both got religion. Right. You're both right. Some people do come <laughs> back, and some people honestly do find God. Have a, they change? Everything about how they look, about things, how they feel, how they act, what they make, right. and if that's what really happened with them, hey, more power to you. No. Cool. You feel no you disrespect. Just, to you just journey. feeling like I'm not buying. I'm not buying. You, buy you just feel like this is all a facade. Bro, when I was listening to his interview with Big Boy, right? Okay. Okay. I was like, you starting to sound like you sound in interviews, <laughs> and it makes me not believe you. Okay, wait a minute, because he said some he said some shit in the interview that I was like, I agree. Okay. He has some fair points. Yeah. But it just when he gets going, I'm like, see? I'm like the part of the Wait a minute. No, he makes some good points when, when somebody's like, yo, he's like, yo, hey, they, they missed the old kind of we, we say to that. He's like, do you miss the old iPhone 3? And I was like, <laughs> oh shit. That's he's a got a fucking shit. point. I'm okay with that statement. <laughs> that's like, a real, that's some real shit, though. You asked Steve Jobs for the iPhone 3, and I'm like, hey, it's a good point. Do we go back? I don't, like, I don't if, if ask this for no is iPhone. His honest, if this is honestly his journey, <laughs> then hey, man, cool. I'm not going to disrespect that. I'm just, and again, some people say, well, it's not your job to be convinced, Black Todd. Fair. Okay. I'm just saying that's, that's where I'm at right now. Now, one thing that I thought was interesting, because y'all were talking about how he seems sane and centered now. No. Um, he's just saying he, he wants to take us on tour. Kim K was like, I don't really want him to go on tour like, right now. Because I think he should make sure he looks out for his mental health, well-being, stay centered. So when he starts going on tour is when he started to get crazy. That And I can see how that could be the that case. That could be the case. That could be. Maybe he wants to just spread his gospel in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is the time. Basically... <laughs> Want to just spread it? I mean, I don't know. So that was a good point. Like, okay, because let's let's get into this album, man. Because I was listening to it, and there's there's a couple good songs on here. There is. Uh, the I mean, the one that sticks out the most is the uh, "Everything We Need" with Ty Dolla Sign. I feel like Ty Dolla Sign sounds amazing on there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he does. I felt like Ty. When has Ty let us down? He yeah, doesn't. He, let he us does down. It, he does I knew, it. I knew there he was going to be good on there. <laughs> When you, just see, when you just see the name, you're like, that's going to be one of the hits. I was like, yeah, uh, this is probably going to be good. Yep, it was good. Yeah, I liked it. I wish track 11, last track, Jesus, Jesus is Lord. I wish that one was, was longer. Actually a song. Yeah, I kind of uh, wish a lot of these four. songs were longer on here, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah, you're right. I feel like he could have... He could have stretched them out better. <laughs> Let me. Th- okay, let's talk about the Chick-fil-A song or whatever. Okay, Close, on, Close Sunday. on Sunday? Close on Sunday. I heard, I've seen a lot of people say, I turned it off, they heard the first line. I kind of feel like they did themselves a disservice because they very much did. I, I felt yeah, like Kanye kind of sang his ass y'all off. I like me. how I dropped that in the group chat as soon as it dropped. No, yeah, I see it. I see yeah. it. I seen it. Uh, <laughs> yes, okay, y'all. Listen, that first line is a little like, all right. Because like, I don't really get cringy. what he's saying in that line. She's like, uh, Close on Sunday. You, my, my Chick fil A. So who is the you? Is the, the his chick? Who's Chick fil A? Well, this is this is slightly off topic. I promise I'm gonna come right back. I did see online that Popeyes is dropping chicken sandwich <laughs> yeah, on Sunday. Get the fuck no, I'm out serious. Of here, I'm, they're bringing it back on Sunday. No, I know. They're bringing it back on Sunday. Yeah. Genius marketing. All right, I'm back. Sorry. Super genius marketing. I'm back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, who who is Chick Fil A? Who is this 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 chick he's talking about? I don't know. 
He, uh, she must be closed on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I, like, that's what, that's where I'm like, all right, because this is where it's like, this is where I can see people saying, what the fuck is this? Because it's kind of worldly. Uh, even with the song on God, <laughs> you're not supposed to put the Lord's name in vain. Like, you know, put, yeah. put nothing on God like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that could just be a slip up. You know what I'm saying? You know, he is, he has been in worldly music for a while. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> I don't know. I thought it was a cool album, man. I thought it was good. I, I appreciated the reunion of uh, the clips. I really appreciated that too. I appreciated too. like a motherfucker. That yeah. shit. You know nice, what though? I nice don't know touch. if he was trying to do this, but I kind of felt like the clips was the devil in the Oh yes, the angel, angel? the devil and the angel. Was that what that That's was? It, it's, it's, it felt like that. It definitely felt like that. That was the energy I got. Cuz you cuz you know, you got to push your team. Right. Was the the devil. Yeah, but you know, they, they... You know, <laughs> he's a good guy. Yes, yeah. You know what's funny? Because that's yeah. true. Because he, because the six 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 eight. Yes, I'm just saying. Hey, hey, if we all to go no to hell, malice. it'll be worth it. That's me saying. If we all go to hell, it'll be worth it. Yes, yes. right. That is a quote. And then malice, is a quote. malice switched to no malice, so he's more like the angel. You know what I'm exactly. So I kind of feel like that's the reason that this happened. Yes. Am it, I it, am it, I digging too far? No, I think it's it, it's. Good observation. That's that's how it felt with me. If you know the clips, if you know the story of of, of Malice switching to No Malice and like switching up a little bit uh, with his own album, also or his little. Didn't he come out with a couple tracks or who Malice? No Malice. Yeah, yeah, he came out with album. album. Yeah, I forget what his album was called. That was but, actually more like a uh, like a church one. Too, their stuff is right? always. If you go back even to the first album, I mean, the first album was called Lord, Lord Willing. Yep. It was always kind of based around like religion. Jesus, religion. Hell hath no fury. Am I my brother's keeper? Type Jesus shit? is in the black seat, the back seat of the car. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, right. Uh, to the, I think uh, I, I forget what No Mouse's uh, uh, album was called, but it was something re- religious. Religious, you know? also, yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, I mean, it did seem like that. Then they had Kenny G. I was like, don't forget Kenny G. Now, yeah, then they had Kenny G. Yeah, then they had Kenny G on there with the saxophone doing his thing. Right, the breakdown at the end. Yeah, it was like the I, the, the guitar solo, but I, it was the it was the sax solo. Yes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> It was actually decent, man. I didn't. I didn't think it was bad. I don't think it was a super fire ass album, but it definitely wasn't like a weak ass album. Nah, it was, uh, I guess people are saying. I know people are you know upset or whatever. I can I can understand you know. And it's I mean? a quick like, playthrough, so it really don't hurt to just to to get it here, and that's it. Yeah. You know, you'll actually, like. I promise you'll like something. Shit will actually make you think. You know what I'm saying? Like about your own beliefs in a sense, like make you think of like you know maybe you know. Kanye looks like he's doing better. Maybe I should go get my religion back. <laughs> There's some people that probably that probably went to church on Sunday. Yeah. After listening to that. Probably. You don't think so? They might listen to it going to church. <laughs> Why not? Everything we need had a good message. Come on, Black. It did. It Come was on. a good message. Had a good message. It wasn't bad. No, I'm not saying it's it had kind, a I bad think message. it's Kanye trying to do good, but you just don't buy it. I just... You just don't I believe just it. I don't want. Let's put it this way. I don't. You didn't like don't, everything I don't we need. This from you, yeah. You, you, you didn't like everything we need. Come on, come on. Yes, that was a good one too. Switch your switch your ad. You yes. don't like that Ty, one. That's what Ty does. It's, it's like I said, it's not that it's bad. He's still Kanye. <laughs> He's no. You know what I'm saying? He said, is, when, "What if Eve made apple juice?" No, He's still is, Kanye. No, this is Pastor West. Now yeah. this is Pastor, Pastor West. West. No, this funny. is different. Oh shit. Well. <clears throat> If this is the new year we have, okay. Um, there was a couple of quotes I have for us to read here. He said, okay. From the album? No, from people reacting to it. The people reacting to it. Um, so to Donald Trump Jr. Oh, I, I'm so that's so funny. <laughs> I was just reading this shit oh, earlier God, today, yeah. and I was like, get the fuck out he of here. He said nigga. Kanye West is cracking the culture code. <laughs> Kanye West's new album is the epitome of fearless oh, creativity shit. and dangerous, unapproved ideas. Shut your ass up. I agree. I, I agree with you. Nori says the album is trash. And he also said, how the fuck you got clips on a record that's not good? Jesus is mad at this. <gasps> Woo. Damn. Y'all thought I was being harsh. I feel like I feel like people being a little harsh. They are, and that, I only feel like that comment was a little harsh. I feel like they're only being harsh. I feel like a lot of people are being harsh because they're not. They're not. They hate Kanye West for other reasons. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. See, what I'm saying has nothing for to do with anything. Taylor Swift, right? 
My opinion on this right. is based on this project. And I really, really do like Kanye. I like this album better than his last one. Oh, that last one was hot garbage. Yeah, I think this, this is one, better. This one's I would better. much I rather listen up. to this than Ye. Yeah, yeah, this is a step up, definitely. Yeah. And that should tell you something, because I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> but I got a couple songs more we're gonna replay. I'm not mad at that. If I'm yeah. I'm happy that if, if y'all have tracks on this, that's good. I'm it's just not for me. That's all I'm saying. So the next album that comes out from Kanye. It's coming at Christmas. <laughs> you know that's not happening. It is. <laughs> Listen, it's not happening. It is. He said it's happening. No, no. He told us Turbo Graphics 16 was happening. I think mm-hmm. he also told us Yandi was happening. And then, by the way, I love that this is supposed to be telling, oh, no, it's dropping Friday, dropping Friday. He's saying, oh, yeah, we're not going to sleep till it's out. And here we are, <laughs> rolling like, into the next day. Like, like, where the hell is the album? Bro? <laughs> right. Oh, we got to mix and master. Yeah, we're like, what the fuck? I was I, like, bro, you didn't have this deadline exactly. to mix and master before. <laughs> yeah. The hell? I turn quote, it in I means like turn it in. BUU. And then, then I said, said, you didn't know you needed to master this two weeks ago. What yes, the hell? Yes. <laughs> When did you get done with the album, Nick? But then shortly after, it was like, Ye, uh, Ye Drop. So, oh, I was yeah. Like, About to turn in the album. I was like, what the hell? I was like, I thought he wasn't going to come out. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's supposed to be drawing, I think it's Jesus is Born. Uh, uh, like Christmas? It's a Christmas album. Jesus is Born. You don't want to hear that? Christmas album. Now, because it's Christmas album, I'm going to listen. I love a Christmas album. I know you love your Christmas album. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to listen. Why, that's why I'm like, yeah, come I'm gonna on. I'm going to tune in. I, come on. But yeah, it, gonna, it, gonna, gonna, gonna love that one. Black Tie loves his Christmas albums, y'all. So if y'all want to, if y'all want to get Black Tie to give, yes, buy give him some Christmas albums. Buy him the Christmas anything essentials related album. to Christmas. Right. Anything yeah. related to Christmas, right? Make Black Tie real happy. Preferably Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> yin Yang Twins. Anyone Christmas. interested? I'm, I'm more than happy to send the links. A Yin Yang Twins. What do you want? You want like a? Uh, you want like a? Uh, Man, listen. Uh, anything record. Christmas related, I'm happy. Oh, you know they, they, got, they got a Christmas album. I'm gonna tell you right now. Someone sends me Christmas vinyl. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's me, bro. Okay. Mm. They came out with album Yin Yang Twins. You'll be his no, best just friend. Couple. It was like an EP, a couple songs. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Send him a vinyl, y'all. Rudolph the Red. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up for the email. For uh, I'll get you the address. All right. I never did drop that playlist last year like we supposed to. I'm trash for that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna drop one. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna do it. it. Yeah, we're gonna we're do gonna this do year. We got y'all. Uh, well, that's it for Kanye. Um, uh, extravaganza. Uh, let's move on.